Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Victor and welcome to my YouTube channel, which is all about helping people navigate their ascension or their awakening process. And today's video is going to talk about a very particular state of being that all light workers, all people on their road to awakening at some point encounter. I have encountered it many times and I would venture to guess that you guys have as well. I've called this state of being this desolate and uncomfortable and boring state of inaction. I call it the void. The void is kind of, I believe, a necessary step on our ascension and only because we're in the earth realm where things just take time. So we're kind of simultaneously, you could say, doing a couple of different things during our awakening. One of them is releasing all of the stuff that really is not representative of our true self, meaning a lot of our interests, our hobbies, our relationships, our decisions and career choices and homes and all, a lot of these things really were uh, created unconsciously and therefore many of them aren't really in alignment. So we're in a process of like letting go of these things, these, again, these beliefs about ourself as well. At the same time, we are simultaneously bringing in, as we let go, new energy of our soul. More and more and more of our higher self, of our soul self, is becoming like downloaded into our physical body. It's this kind of simultaneous dance. And as you might have found, there are periods where seemingly the ascension process is primarily uh, composed of just letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. And then there's also like more expansive periods where we're just like coming into new insights, new realization, new epiphanies, new d directions in life, new, 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 more, more, more of our soul is coming in. Um, and this kind of is, is a fluctuating dynamic process with no real rhyme or reason. It's not like you do this for X amount of month and you come here. It's no, there's nothing linear about it. Anyway. So oftentimes after a period of a lot of letting go, letting go of, of, of things that used to uh, feel good and pleasure, pleasurable to us, we, we see that it's starting to kind of be empty for us. It's not really satisfying us. Relationships, all, all these different things we kind of have a big purging, a big letting go of. And then it, it's not always as if this newness comes in right away. And we're temporarily left in this void this really miserable void of complete inaction. It feels as if the world has completely stopped. Um, th there's really no, nothing new at all coming in. All of the old, the old hobbies and interests and things we used to do to sort of pacify ourselves, to escape when feeling kind of bored, no longer work. They're seen and experienced as meaningless. So we really have nothing. There's nothing to grasp on. We have no sense of it. We lose our sense of identity. We don't know who we are. All we know is that who we thought we were is not who we actually are, but we don't quite know who we actually are yet. Nothing new coming in, nothing old is working, and we're left in this like eternal moment of dull, boring, depressing, bluesy, melancholy, um, foggy, awfulness and this can last for an hour an afternoon sometimes a day sometimes a week sometimes i've had it for months and it's it sucks personally i would prefer to be dealing with intense negativity and challenges out there in the external world because at least there's a sense of forward progress in this state i'm talking about you feel like you're not doing anything like you you don't really get to experience all the hard work you've done letting go and there's no new things coming in. Your future seems unclear, foggy at best. And again, you're just left feeling dead inside, feeling completely almost like suicidal, just depressed. Oftentimes, I have found, ironically, that my external world mirrors this. So I'll be feeling this way and it'll be like horrible weather, real just bluesy, depressing, rainy. You're feeling bored. There's nothing to do, you know, and Quite frankly, I didn't really uh, go into the details about this state of being as a way because I have some sort of little solution for you. There is no solution for it, okay? It's part of the process. But I wanted you guys to understand that you're not alone in this. If you're feeling this, it's normal. It doesn't mean that you're, you're doing a horrible job at the ascension process. It doesn't mean you went wrong somewhere. It's just to be expected. 
And sometimes knowing that, once I realized this is, once I started to kind of, uh, once I went through these various stages over and over and over, I came to see them a little more clearly from a little bit more of an expanded perspective and see, okay, this is just apparently part of the process. So no use of, no use in really worrying about it. A lot of times our worry and our definitions about particular states of being and events and whatnot is really what causes like the the misery in our experience. But when you just see it, it's just this is part of it. Things will be moving again. And usually this period, this void comes before a massive influx of something awesome and new. So you will be rewarded. Rest in that. Um, and I, again, I just want to kind of let you guys know you're not alone in this. These feelings are very normal. So just understand that. That's my primary message. And I want to remind you that you're tough enough to go through this. I say this a lot, but a lot of times we forget. I forget. You forget. We forget our power because we're temporarily cut off from our power, but only because we are that fucking powerful that we can handle being severed off into this, just cast off into this wasteland of nothingness. And we know we will fucking ride it out, that we, we will be back and we can handle it, okay? So don't forget that. Don't forget all the the millions of notches on your proverbial belt that you've, you've uh, you acquired through thousands of lifetimes thousands, millions, trillions of challenges. You're an eternal soul. This is nothing. This is a speck of eternity right now. This moment will soon be replaced by something awesome. You are heading somewhere. The, the awakening process goes like this. You go up, down, up, down, up, down. But the down, you, you're still progressing in, a, in an upward motion, even though there's all these lulls and lows and seeming valleys. It, you're never in a valley. You're always heading. You are always ascending, whether you feel good about it or you're having a rough day, okay? So don't forget that. Remember your power. This too shall pass. And I will speak to you guys in another video. I wrote a whole blog article about that. You can click the link down below. I kind of express it a little bit differently. My writing comes out a little bit differently than my, my verbiage in my videos. So many of you might like that. And I will speak to you guys next time. Peace.